Here I'm going to show you how to make this. A nice interface that is very clean, minimal data there, but if you want to expand a section to further analyze something, click a button and it is there. And this is not specific to a chart. I'm only using a chart because it's a nice visual thing to show you. But this will work for any data that you have or pretty much anything that you have in a worksheet. You're going to choose a section to allow it to be toggled and set it up so a button will toggle it so it's visible or invisible. Now before I get started, make sure to download the file for this tutorial. There's a link to it in the description of this video. And make sure to subscribe, like the video, and click the little bell icon to get notifications. The more of you that subscribe, the more videos I can make. Now I'm going to go ahead and take all of this off and restart from a fresh worksheet and show you how to make this. And here we are. So let's spruce this guy up, add some features to it, and then choose a section of it to toggle. This is just basic data, but I want to put it on a chart, and it's much nicer to put it on a chart if it's a table. So make sure you have a header for every column. Click in here and hit Control T, or go to Insert, Table. Make sure my table has headers is checked. Hit OK. And if you don't like this formatting, by the way, just go to Table Design, Table Styles, and change the formatting. You can even take it off if you click the upper left option like that. So you don't have to have it there, but making it a table does make your life a lot easier. And I will quickly add some dollar signs to that. And now let's insert a chart. So click in here, insert, and let's choose a basic chart type. There we go. Now what you want to do here is think about how you want to toggle the worksheet. So a lot of times you're going to have data like that and then your chart like this. But if you're toggling it, maybe it's a little bit nicer if you have this above your data set. So think about where you want to have it and you can just play around with things and then grab the data that you want to always be visible and just push it down a little bit. And we will grab our chart, put it right there change the formatting of this guy so it's a little bit bigger. And what's very important is the section that you want to hide, make it within rows that are not going to be touching anything else. So I want to hide rows here and that's how this whole trick, this whole technique is going to work. And what you want to do is just think you're going to go like this and grab the rows around the thing that you want to hide. So a little bit above, a little bit below, and it's going to hide that. And this is exactly the same as if we now right click and then go to hide. And then to unhide it, you click the rows around it, right click, and go to unhide. So that is all we're going to do, but we're going to do it with a nice little button up here. And that's what requires the VBA, so the programming but you can get everything working right just testing it by hand out here first before you even get to the code. And like I said, you don't just have to have a chart here. You can have whatever you want. It's going to hide everything in those rows. The one thing to watch out for is, let's right click this guy, go to Format Chart Area. It was off the screen there. And then you wanna to go to Size and Properties and Properties. If you have this to Don't Move or Size with Cells, and then you go to hide the rows. So right click, hide. It will not work. And now the raw data is underneath it. So you do not want to do that. So make sure, right click, it's off the screen once again, but format chart area, and then size and properties and properties. This property works for pretty much everything that overlays the worksheet. And by default, it's move and size with cells, which is what we want in this case. So now we are almost ready to go to the VBA window. Let's create a button real quick. Shapes, rounded rectangle, and we are going to put a little guy right here. And let's call it toggle chart. And go to the home tab, add just a little bit of formatting, no too big. 14. And so you can spend a lot of time with formatting. And what you always want to do if you're going to remove the headings here, 
and the formula bar and everything else is go ahead and add a column in front of everything. So right click column A and go to insert and then make sure you're also not in row 1. So you could right click and go to insert as well if you needed to. And that little bit of spacing makes life much nicer when we go to the view tab and remove all three of these guys. But we are now ready to code. And well, let's make A a little bit smaller. There we go. And we want 4 to 19. OK. So hit Alt F11 to go to the VBA window. And then go to Insert Module. And we're going to put the code here. Option explicit just means we have to declare the variables. And for the macro type sub, and let's call this guy toggle section and the rules for naming no funny characters and no spaces and you're pretty much good to go so all we want to do here is to hide and unhide the section of the worksheet that we don't want visible or we do want visible so we first create a variable to hold the range row 4 to 19 and I'm gonna call this RNG section as range RNG lets me know it's a range but you can call this whatever you want once again no funny characters no spaces and let's go set RNG section. I'm going to hit control space to automatically fill in the variable that I just declared. And we need to make a range reference, which you can do about 1 million different ways. Here we're going to reference the worksheet first. So worksheets, the name of the worksheet that we care about, stores. And then what we're going to do is not type range, which is normally what we do. We're going to type rows and then quote, quote, close it up and in here we put the rows that we want to hide. I want to hide row 4 colon all the way to row 19. Now this is something that is a little bit more advanced but it makes the next code much easier. So all you have to do here is change the name of the worksheet right here and change the rows right here. And we go range section control space to fill in the name dot hidden and that controls if the rows are hidden or visible and we're going to do a little trick it's not really a trick but it kind of looks like it to make it all one line here we type not rng section dot hidden and what this is going to do is to set the hidden property which is either true or false to the opposite of whatever it currently is now, in a moment, I'll show you the way that's maybe a little bit easier to remember than this, logically speaking. But for now, let's go ahead and test this out. We have a nice, neat, very succinct little macro here. And so we need to attach our button to it. So hit Alt F11 to go back here. Right click the button and go to Assign Macro. And click Toggle Selection. OK and there we go how nice is that then go to the view tab take off the formula bar headings grid lines and hide the ribbon menu and let's get the cell selection on the table there we go and there we go now this isn't foolproof so remember it's very easy to mess pretty much everything up and the user will so if you want you can go ahead and protect this worksheet but that's going to require you to add some additional code based on what you want to do and things can quickly get complex I'm not going to cover all of that here but I want to show you one potential issue so you move it a little bit and you're not paying attention and then you go to toggle it and it's going to look really goofy and not good at all so do be careful with that. Now let's go ahead and add the VBA that is going to be most often used to do what we did here and maybe is going to be a little bit easier for you to remember. And the downloadable file has both this short syntax right here and the one I'm about to do right here. So here we're going to do a regular if statement. If RNG section dot hidden, remember I said this is true or false. So we can check it directly. If range section is hidden, then, and we'll do an else, and an end if. So if it is hidden, then I want to show it. So I go range section dot hidden equals 
false. And if we get down here, it is not hidden, so I want to hide it. Range section dot hidden equals true. It is a lot more code, and this is more elegant, but some people, maybe a lot of people, find this easier to remember. So if this version is easier for you to remember, then use it. There's no point in doing this if you're not going to remember what it means six months from now. So let's go back to the worksheet and test it and make sure it works. Toggle chart. There we go. Perfect. And I will leave you with the nicer looking version. And that's how you can nicely and elegantly toggle sections of your worksheet using a button and just a little bit of VBA.